Wonder what car I've got to review today. Oh. Great, a battery box. It had bloody well better be good. Electric cars, battery powered, usually tending to be all wheel drive. I am, at, unlike what you might think, I'm actually not opposed to them. If they're good, fair play. If they're bad, they usually tend to have a Tesla badge on them. Get fucked. Well, this one doesn't have a Tesla badge, it's got a Rimac badge. Which means it it's not automatically rubbish. It certainly looks nice. I like the active arrow on the wing. The wheels, I think, look brilliant. And the bonnet, very striking. Quite a handsome car. This is Rimac's third car. The Navira. Rimac was started by a Croatian man called Ma Mate Rimac. And they make some quite nice electric supercars. Well, hypercars, actually. The Concept 1 was notorious because it nearly killed Richard Hammond when he crashed one. But I don't actually care about all of that. Because, you see, Rimac's in a sort of ownership situation where they're owned by Porsche, who are owned by VW. But Rimac also owns a large portion of Bugatti. Which is interesting. Of course it doesn't affect the car in CDT, but in real life, this could lead to some interesting things. Possibly for the better, possibly for the worse. For now, let's just drive the car in CDT, because that's what I'm here for. The first thing you'll note on this car, it's fast. That acceleration is blistering. <laughs> Gone in the distance already. Off the line. The acceleration is blistering and brutal. One of the fastest accelerating cars in the game. It's great. And it'll go on to a brutal top speed. Sometimes. When I get to it. Of 258 miles an hour. Which is pretty fast. This thing is amazing to send through bends. Seriously. The amount of joy I can get from just chucking it through corners with little to no skill, because I'm the one that's driving, is amazing. You just throw it in. The nose goes wherever the fuck you tell it to. And it's brilliant. This thing couldn't be easier to drive. And then of course you've got the bomb of power when you come out. So you're braking as you turn in. Turn in, you know, nice and slow. And then as you come out, suddenly you're in another time zone. It's an addicting formula, and I am all there for it. Looking great, being fast, handling well. This is looking up to being an amazing car. There's just one last thing that we've got to do. Well, two last things. Drifting, and then also a track lap. What do you expect from a Rimac, in terms of being able to go sideways? Well, as it turns out... It's pretty good. Very fast. You can get the slides back relatively easily. Just as long as you don't let them last too long. Otherwise they tend to sort of build up a bit of inert... Come on. Inertia. 
which means that you tend to fishtail. But if you just go in and... Oh, I spun it. <laughs> but if you just go in and pan break and drift, it's not too bad. Although it's better to build up a little bit of speed. Oh, that's nice. Sometimes you do you do tend to spin quite a bit though. It takes time. Hat P1. But yeah. Pretty good. And my steering just went. Well that's great. I'd say it can drift pretty well. Which means there's one last thing to do. A lap of the track. So we have reached the point of the video where we do a lap of the track. Um, and then it's the end. Kind of sad, this video has taken a lot of effort. I had about 20 takes of one drift. Painful. Anyway, right. It's focused on the track. I'm going to gauge this at about 38 seconds off the line. That is a lovely amount of acceleration. It's so quick. Keep it nice under the bridge. So much power out the corners and it's instantaneous thanks to electric motors having all their torque developed from zero miles an hour and zero RPM. Oh god. Flat, switch and brake. This is so good. And look, we're aiming at about 38. Would you look at that? 38.2. That's a very, very respectable time. I'm happy with that. And that means we have reached the end of the video. And I've got to give my opinion on this car. I like it. It's probably going to get hated in the CDT community because it's like, oh, it's not got an engine. It's the end of the world. Forget the fact it hasn't got an engine and you've got a cracking car. It's fucking brilliant, so stop discriminating against it. I just rear-ended it into a garage and I don't care. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And, um probably start saving for one of these because they're like 8 million now. Pretty expensive.